I talked to one of my friends who, uh, who's a, he's an MBA in finance, and I said, you know, what's the purpose of college anyway? And I figured, you know, this panel, we've spent our entire careers on colleges, campuses, and teaching undergrads. We can wax poetic about, you know, the benefits of college, but what does the garden variety MBA say? And he said, not, maybe not surprisingly, well, it's to prepare to get a job. I thought, is that all? And so I pressed in, I was like, is that all? And he's like, well, you know, I guess there are the ancillary benefits of hanging out with your friends and, and things like that. So yeah, so maybe that too. And I said, well, if it's just about getting a job, you know, you could get a job without college. I mean, people do this every day. And he thought for a minute and then he refrained and he said, well, it's so you can get a job, but you start higher up on the ladder if you have a college degree. That's what it's really all about. And I thought, okay, maybe not. <laughs> but then when you think about it, you know, a lot of the ways in which we evaluate a college degree is starting salaries and job titles, right? I mean, that's, that's one of the markers. And so, well, maybe that's not too far off. And so a lot of students that in, in our book, that in, in the interviews with students in our book, they, they struggled with that. And, and one student, Dylan, um, I love Dylan. In the Q and response, uh, we could talk about Dylan. He's really great. But he said, I don't have a definite goal before me right now. And therefore, I'm just drifting around, taking courses that seem interesting. And that's probably why I'm not getting the full value of college this year. And so it's the sense that he had to have a purpose in order to get the value of college rather than college being something that you do to find your purpose. And so when I, when I juxtapose that against an experience I had a couple of weeks ago with the uh, Junior Family Weekend, and I had an opportunity to talk to a group of parents and other family members, and, and just kind of in the opening discussion, if they had spent a day and a half with, with their college students, I said, how many of you guys want to go back to college? And like, they all raised their hand. They all want to come back here and go to college. And I'm kind of sure they don't want to come back and study chemistry or social science and land a little higher bar on the, on the ladder. They're really wanting to come back and do those ancillary things that my, my MBA friend talked about. And so it, it, this idea of coming to college is something beyond, you know, what we're learning in the classes. And so Mike, in my, in my book, he was um, at pre-med, and he said, you know, but college is good. And that there's a lot of opportunities to do different things. And I think you need time in college to grow and to, and to broaden yourself. And so what college does is it gives us this gift of time, this, this gift to, to press pause on life between high school and adulthood. And even though it might not feel like you're pressing pause because it's busy and you have more reading than you could do and piece sets than you can manage. And, and so it feels like you're really busy, but it really is this time to press pause. And so what should you be doing when you're pressing pause? And one of the things in our book that they talked about that they were doing is to find themselves. And they didn't actually find themselves. They were practicing how to find themselves. And so Carl, who's from a rural area in New Hampshire, he said, I kind of allowed myself to be unformed when I got here. And he, this was at Harvard. So I could sort of let this place interact. I sort of left myself open and I wasn't afraid of it. And so it was this acknowledgement of, of letting himself open, but acknowledging that there was a vulnerability to doing so and being comfortable in that vulnerability as he let himself interact with this place. And Judith, though, she was trying to press away from her parents and then decide what she wanted to do. And she wanted to make her own decisions. And she said, I was going through this phase where I was trying to get away from just what my parents had taught me about my own ideas about how things are. They wanted me to believe what they believed. And I'm trying not to allow myself to get just into accepting things just because I need to feel comfortable. I want to be able to question everything. I want to be able to reevaluate everything. And that's kind of the purpose of college is to let yourself go and be able to reevaluate it. And it doesn't mean that college isn't hard and it doesn't make you anxious, but it should make us a little uncomfortable as we adapt to new things. And, but there's an irony in this, is that it's this time to press pause, but at the same time, it's all filled up. We have this idea that we're supposed to 
get the most out of college. And getting the most out of college means you're supposed to do a bunch of stuff and fill up your time. And instead, people in our book talked about not having time to do the things that they really wanted to do in college. So Gary said, you expect you go to school and you pick up X, Y, and Z in courses, but then you find that that's not really where the important things are. Not that it isn't interesting in and of itself, but that doesn't make you a person necessarily. And so they talked about having too many pressures and not being able to do what they thought was really the purpose of college. So needing to find time and make time. And so Deborah said, I really didn't have time last year. I was trying to do everything oriented towards my major courses, which leaves little energy for anything else, which is bad. Now, Max was the opposite. He said, I enjoyed these things. And, the, and talking about the extracurricular activities and, and other courses, elective courses. And he said, the more I learned about them, the more I enjoyed them. I feel like I'm spoiling myself sometimes, taking too many things that I like and not enough of the things I ought to take. But I figured that's what I'm here for. But Mike, Mike said, and we talked about the fine arts, he said, a lot of other courses, say fine arts and humanities and stuff like that, have to be neglected. And I think that's unfortunate. And also, the extracurriculars, which are the biggest plus of being in this place, they have to be curtailed in a degree. And so how do we think about flipping the script and really think about what are the important things and how do we make time for those things? And how do we figure out how to do that? And as a Christian, I lean into Romans 12 too, which says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. And that's what the college experience is supposed to do. It's supposed to give you an opportunity to transform yourself and for your mind to be renewed. And then it goes on and it says that by testing, you may discern what is the will of God and what is good, acceptable, and perfect. And it's not this idea that you should believe things because you're told to or just because, but you're supposed to test and discern. And it's those skills I think that we learn in college. And those are the things that I think are the purpose.